Hey, how you doing? Welcome to uh, Vol Hunters Season 3. Um, let me look at if I really quickly. Less than three. So the way that, um... The way that today has gone is that you basically had a three-hour time slot with you and other people. Iskal had, like, his one-hour preview, but that's Iskal. Uh, the way that, like, continued streaming works for today is after all of the individual segregated groups are done, uh, you're allowed to hop back on or continue streaming as long as you'd like to. So, kind of sick for me, the downside of not being able to play initially, I'm on the last group of the day, which means that at the end of the three hours... I can keep streaming if I want to. That was told yesterday to the rest of us. And anybody else who previously streamed can also hop back on after that time. Although I doubt any of them will actually want to like fire their stream back up again. I'm not looking to go like 12 hours a day, but I'm just saying I might go a little bit over three. I'll probably be go a little bit over three, depending on how things go. But I'm not sure where my schedule is going to be on today. I kind of wanted to wait for the next couple of days to see when other people were going to be streaming. Because I haven't locked in, like, a time schedule for me of if I'll be on, like, in the a.m. or the p.m. or the midday or whenever the fuck. <laughs> so I'm just kind of playing it by ear for right now. But if I do have a schedule, it'll probably be locked in. It'll probably be locked in by the end of the week somewhere around there. I, uh, I'm back for better or for worse. <laughs> Here I am again. Iskal did not want to get rid of me after I chunk loaded my base accidentally during the entirety of Vault Hunter Season 2 to Vault Hunter Season 3. Never ex never took those uh, anchor upgrades out when the series ended, and then I logged on four months later to reference a mechanism build, and they were still on there. He didn't want to get rid of me, so I'm somehow back. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Vault Hunter Season 3. <laughs> um, I have... Watch update videos, I've seen a lot, and overall I remember most of nothing. So let's have a good one. <laughs> let's have a, a good time. I'm on with uh, Abe False, myself, Ryan Higa, Zine, and Hellfire in the background somewhere there. Um, Abe and Ryan Higa are probably going to get kicked off momentarily and just booted from the series in general because this is their time slot! How you do they shouldn't be on right now! Man. Kidding, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know where people built. I don't know where things are. I don't know anything about anything. Other than a video that I watched that Iskel demoed and a call we were in for a couple of hours. So and the fact that 118 is apparently a very major difference compared to, uh, Vault Hunters 116. So, uh, yeah, let's, um... I don't know how to transition from, from talking to YouTube to just stream. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go. Is it nighttime or is it daytime? Great, we're starting off at nighttime. Sick. Okay. <laughs> Underwater base. The only thing I was told was that we shouldn't build next to spawn because uh, chunk loading with like that whole deal and spawn chunks can get laggy. But I was told to go the opposite direction of which way I'm going right now. Uh, west southwest is roughly where Zine pitched me. So I think I'm going to go see if I can say hi to Zine and try and find what's going on over there. The main difference that I'm already seeing is that there's no... There's no, uh, what's it called? Let's see, south, southwest, down this way? Oh, down to land. Okay. There's no builds initially, so there's no, like, admin big portal. There's no clock tower, everything back there. Um, we managed to go, uh, we managed to go a whole season <laughs> with that stupid, uh, wind generator up there and nobody noticed. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping... I need to get some food. Here's the thing. I want to run around, like, a lot. And I'm not gonna... I'm gonna cut down a tree and get food. I'm not gonna run out of food in five seconds. Just want to ask if there's some trade crows anymore? No, okay. So, let me explain the biggest viewer to... Well, I guess... Streamer to like public pack difference in this season every Monetary incentive no longer affects progression Season two and we talked very openly with this gal and the dev team about this season two for streamers was very Dependent progression wise was very dependent on basically how much money you got paid that day 
And it, as much as, like, I love progression on my own stance, if you wanted to gain a level and get skill points, it, it literally did have to do with basically how much were you donated that day, to some degree, right? Um, obviously, there was progression outside of that, but that was a very large part of progression. And they wanted to change that up for this season, so every monetary incentive that you guys do now, whether it be subs, donos, and bits, will still have some sort of reflection in the series, but it won't affect progression. So progression is tied now entirely to inside of the vaults. That was the major difference that this guy was talking about to us and in the update video or whatever. The leveling here, you notice, I'm not going up from donos and bits and stuff like I did last season where I hopped on and I was already like level 10 at this point. It's now based on every action that you do inside of a vault. Chests that you mine, mobs that you kill, things you explore, that whole type of thing. Um, so things like trader cores and statues that give items are not a thing in here anymore. It kills off the progression to donation tie-in and also is going to be a major help with server lag and base lag because they also wanted to get rid of, you know, people would have hundreds of statues just laying around at bases and all the rendering would cause lag and problems when you got to their base and they've cleaned things up a lot because also the, the biggest thing was that to people who downloaded the pack and played it at home or even to streamers that weren't a part of the SMP, progression was insanely slow and felt shitty in comparison to what we made seem normal as the streamers. And they didn't want anything like that. They wanted the pack to be very similar, what we're playing right now, to what you guys are going to be able to play in about two to three weeks if their estimation holds still. Because um, it's not released today for everybody to download yet. If you want to download it, you'll have to wait until it gets released in a couple of weeks. So we're alpha testers, I guess, for the most part. So if we get any bugs and things of that nature, we'll be the first to squash them and we'll be the ones to deal with it. All in all... It's change. it's a very yeah it's a very very good change and I'm happy for the dev team and I think if there's any way to summarize the update from season two to season three polish that's that's the update is like polish it's so much cleaner it's much less of an inventory management simulator and I'm just killing cows right now, man. I don't know. I'm excited to get into this stuff, dude. I just want to get some food. If this is going to prevent any cow farms from being made at spawn, I don't care. Go somewhere else. Along finally. Can't wait to play the actual pack itself. Also, chat. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know either. I don't speak chicken kek. The whole entire server is talking to me. What an honor. All right, we're going to do a quick restart in a second, but I'm going to get some things smelting in the meantime. That was a, a very good 10 minutes. I'm glad I've uh, had some fun on here, and uh, I'll be waiting for season four now. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for the subs and bits and donos. Uh, probably going to skip in the arena because I'm you know, hopping off right now, but yeah. I was just no, I had a great time. I, I really did. It was uh, it was great. It was really good. I would do would do it again. Chad, thanks for being here. Everything was sick. Good bit. Very very good bit. Sick. Thank you, Goody. Oh, what is it named? Pizza night. Okay. Holy shit! Wait, that looks so cool! Pizza and Jewel? Pizza and I Ore? Pizza and I Gem? Pizza and I Key? A clean ass color, man! That's so good! I love that. Yeah, this, um, <laughs> I won't get into details, but uh, this was renamed last night. <laughs> and. Uh, my jam actually wasn't the only one that got renamed last night. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching my series. I'm probably, it's probably going to be my last day here. Um, but I'm replaying saplings, so every, I'm surely sticking around for a bit. <laughs> All right. We got a little bit of food. I'm going to try and just pick off some more animals as I'm going along because, yeah, obviously taking spawn animals is the number one thing you should do in an SMP.
Um, I'm not going to start off this series in the same way I did when I joined the Nivalner Season 2, aka tearing down an entire mushroom biome over the course of two months before deciding to actually rebuild any of the destruction that I did, because apparently I had never joined an SMP prior to that edition. So I'm going to do a little bit better at uh, not doing that. Kind of. What was the name of the gem last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh my god, 118 terrain. This is going to be the first SMP that I've properly been on 118, 119 terrain, by the way. So that's cool. Love this build. Excited to see what he does with that. Why am is this? Where are we right now? Moonlight Valley. Moonlight Valley. All right, well, what the heck am I doing running on land when I got a river next to me, dude? I love making stick boat. It's my favorite type of boat. What block are you? Oh yeah, they removed. What am I looking at? Because most of the um, so this is the really cool thing. I don't remember the name of the mod that they're using for terrain generation, but it's not like the previous season and most modded packs where it's based off of a bunch of newly added blocks from the mod itself. Most of the generation is built. I don't actually know if it's all, but most of the generation is built off of vanilla blocks. So everything is custom, but it still has that uh, vanilla feel to it, which is the reason why they got rid of the overhead here. Vault Hunters hype. Wait, they keep the thi oh oh. They kept the, the thing from season two. That's cool. That's less hassle for us. That's sick. Uh, but yeah, it's apparently a toggle. Chat's telling me that you can press one for it to go there, but they disabled it by default because this season and all of its contents and the way that vaults are built, especially is going to be a lot less of needing to identify a bunch of blocks that you've never seen before. So you can know what they are before picking them up because that's kind of how a lot of modded series are. They're just info simulators you see 7,000 blocks you've never seen it before and you have to just go up to it to see what it is in the first place they're trying to not have it blue cobblestone basically for the educated um so yeah that was their aim for it again polish simple simplicity the whole type of deal is there a website with info on the series i don't believe the main website has been updated for this yet and won't be until the public pack comes out that is my assumption, because I know that, like, all the information and stuff has not been changed quite yet. Blue smooth stone. Uh, sure, close to it. Yeah, sure. sure. All right. Okay, let's get a, um... I'm assuming the server has a render distance of... This looks like 12. Actually, is that my client that's on 12? No, my client's on 16. I would assume the server has a render distance of 12. I doubt 16 is what, something that they want to be upping for this. By the way, I think they also mentioned that all the chunks are loaded up into, like, a border of 32,000 or some shit like that. Something crazy. I don't know if it was 32,000 or 3,200. If it was 32,000, I'd be surprised, but it might be... Is it 32? Hell. How long does the 32,000 chunk pregen with this terrain take? Christ all alive, man. <laughs> That's so much. And 3200 is like, you know, okay, it's reasonable. A little small. Five days! God, I mean, uh, that still doesn't seem that bad. They got, uh, man, they got, do they got the new Intel CPU? <laughs> this dude's got a, a, a Xeon Mac Pro that costs 56 grand. <laughs> I told Pete is close to me, but I said I always feel close to Pete. Was the name of your gem the Sweatsar gem? Cause I could see his call putting that in there. Sweatsar gem? He hasn't called me a sweat yet. Dude, this terrain is so sick. Damn, man. Do you see this though? Do you see the natural staircase leading up? Like, already pre-built right there. The natural staircase that literally goes from a, a unbuilt dock in the river, and then you just staircase up the side, and then there's your terrain right there. Oh, man. 
So chat, here, here, here's the thing. Um, if you're wondering how much time that I took, thank you, Jordan, for the raid, by the way. I appreciate that one. If you're wondering how much time that I spent um, between seasons trying to come up with ideas for my new base for season three, absolutely none. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really, like, do anything. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I didn't really, like, look up any stuff or plan anything. But I also kind of, I, I don't know. I kind of wanted to, like, see a terrain and stuff because who knows? I could have come up with an idea and then hopped in here because I've never seen this terrain generation before. Again, I don't know what they're using. Some of y'all probably do. I have no idea. But this this throws every plan that I've had in, in whatever. As we would expect from you. Okay. All right. Relax. Um, God, what are my all oh, controls? That's gonna be a very fun part of it. nothing but red. Um, pace spells out. Category key. Waypoint. New waypoint. Open waypoint screen. If I press B, does that actually do anything? You better believe it doesn't. All right, hold on. Keybinds, key, B. What is B? Cycle mode down? I don't know what cough is. Uh, feet mode switch. You into that? Open backpack. Sophisticated backpacks. That's probably a nice thing that I'll probably need at some point. So I actually... Why don't we leave it for there? So new waypoint, what do we want to do? Dial... Yeah, we'll call it period. Why not? Okay, cool. So we'll leave... Um, Stairwall. Confirm. Okay. Part of the reason why I'm really glad that I was part of the last group on here is because I'm probably going to be spending 12 hours just looking for a base location for today. Um, I really just want to explore the world like crazy. Oh my god, wait a minute. Wait. I haven't taken a look at this yet. Hold on. Not key. So what's the keybind for research? To look at the um the research stuff that you can do because previous season it was backspace. H Anchor Show HUD skill tree. There it is. What about that is backspace? What is backspace? Previous recipe, J I I see. Okay. Oh my god. God, that looks so... I don't know why it's like this, but I love that, oddly enough. Wow, this looks so good, dude. Are you kidding me? Hold on, where's my... Uh, yeah, there we go. We can pop it over here. Yeah, this looks so good. So yeah, this was showed off a little bit in the uh, the update video, but there's a brand... Look at... Oh, stat frogs! Woo! Yeah, there's a whole new uh, GUI for information on literally everything. You got your player statistics over here, player abilities, which I'll look through later, player talents as well too. Abilities are completely redone. Talents are similar in a sense. That's why this looks a lot more familiar compared to abilities being laid out a lot differently. Archetypes are a whole new thing. We'll get to that in a bit. I want to change my skin before I start today. It's fine. Here's what I wanted to look at though. Researches. Okay. Um, what was I looking at? Quality of life. Do we let's see waystones? Waystones are a thing. Okay, cool. So waystones do exist. Torch master trash cans, elevators, and vault compass. Here's a big one. Vault compass apparently is a research that you can pick. Um I actually want to I didn't set that one up. Hold on. For React purposes today, I think I'm gonna move my chat down here. So I'll probably be using this a lot while I'm looking at these informations. Apparently, Vault Compass is like, so you can get coordinates and stuff or locate inside of a vault because by default, it's not allowed anymore. I don't know if you guys missed that part of the update video or saw with other people, but yeah, uh, marking down coordinates is just not a thing with vaults anymore. Not a, not a thing. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be pretty cool. Sub, sub, sub. Yo, Frost! Thank you very much for 39. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got. Colossal chest mod. Colossal chests allow you to build massive chest. <laughs> My man. I can store a lot of items in them. All right. Simple storage network. Simple storage network is a basic digital storage mod. It can read contents of chests and other inventories and gives you a search and crafting terminal. Doesn't require any power to run, but there's limitations in terms of wireless access. It does not have the ability to store items digitally. Okay, fair enough. 
then drawers, mechanism QIO. All right. Refined storage and apply to reduce it. Refined storage. Oh. I did not know much about you, but after Ragnamod, I've seen some great things, and boy do I love laying down cable. So I'm looking at that one a little bit more so now. We'll, we'll see if I actually go around that at some point. Uh, that was kind of all I wanted to look at right now. Big toys. <laughs> I see they had some fun in between seasons with developing this one. Building gadgets, weirding gadgets. That's a weirding gadgets mod. Mod allows you to chunk. Ah, right. Weirding gadgets will, however, turn itself off when you have been offline for longer than 12 hours. If you're playing on a server, use the mod with caution as it can very quickly lag a server out for your server members if overused. I did get called out in the call that we had yesterday for chunk loading. Not my fault, skill issue. Um, Mining gadgets, digital miner. Okay, all right, cool. And then looting. Okay. Oh, so pouches from sophisticated backpacks. Pouches are your entry tool for better loot management side of okay, so this is like in a vault, basically. Build pouches, belts, backpacks. Okay. Got it. Very cool. So this is all their take on dinks, basically. Very sick. Okay. Yeah, double pouches. Bigger, come with one more upgrade slot than pouches. Also unlocks a second tier stack upgrade. Okay, we'll get into that probably at some point. Belts, backpacks, big bet was that two? Big backpacks, even bigger as three. And then junk management, the literal greatest thing that they've ever added. I miss this so much. Kayuki. Need I put, need I explain to you again that you are probably entered into the gladiator arena 17 up to a couple times over. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, and, and genuinely, there are a lot of big things that I've missed, and I appreciate you all so dearly much. I've seen a lot, I've missed a lot, I've seen a lot. Thank you if you've supported me at all. These days are always insane. And I hope you all are ready for a good few months of a lot of content. Seriously, thank you so, so damn much. So the arena this version? Yes. Yes. The arena behaves a little bit differently though. It's very cool. Uh we'll get into that when we get into it though. It's gonna be at the end of the end of every stream, essentially. Ignacy, they were almost with 24. God damn! Shit! Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, I appreciate that a ton. If anybody I'll give it a sub. Drop a little drop a little piece at HL. You know, over to over to your chatter on the left, chatter on the right. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll get into all this in a little while. I want to keep looking around for base locations. I also want to hit up with Zine. He said it was south-southwest. South-southwest, okay. I'll make my way over there at some point. Just let me... Take my way down the river. I don't know if y'all ever bit. Ooh... Someone wanted to set a base before caving. What the fuck? <laughs> I have not played this version enough. <laughs> Taking a little gander. Taking a little gander. Seeing who set up what, you know? Just, just taking taking a little gander. Free loot. That's that's the SMP way right there. Yeah, the, yeah, don't you guys know what the um <laughs> Yeah, there's obviously that mod in here that makes every chest generate new stuff for every player, right? And obviously that was pre-generated stuff for me. Surely that doesn't belong to anyone else. I want to say that there's got to be... There, there is some system. I just don't know how to uh, work it. Hey, hey, you know what we call animals without name tags? Free range. Hey man, I love you. This many dollars worth. 
Okay then when you do, I'll holla again. <laughs> For a magic scene. See, there's many things that people can bond over in life. Death, taxes, and a good cook on a nice steak. Also, I can't help but wish that the render distance for the server was a little bit higher, even though I know that's not possible, because I'm pretty sure that every mountain base is going to look like it's constantly about to rain. Use pants to cook it. Just saying. But also well deserved. We got a little boat here. Let's see if anybody snagged this by chance. And a ruin portal. Loot time, baby. Pit stop, please. Thank you. You still enjoy Rocket League? Um, I don't really watch Rocket League too much at the. I guess it's good. I don't really watch Rocket League too much at the moment. Good shipwreck. Breaking two. Sick. My first armor piece. Let's go, dude. Got the clock. That's all that matters. Oh my god, it's literally right here, dude. Why did I have to use a map to up my pirate? A bamboo is huge. Actually, you're not wrong. Actually, you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Bamboo is kind of a nice pickup, I'll be honest. They still do the 9 9 in the. Uh, where's the chunk border? A uh, chunk uh, here? Is it 9 9? Yeah, it is 9 9 still, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. 11 months. Super excited for this season. The coconut. That is nuts, man. All right, what am I getting rid of? Heart of the Sea. We've got two diamonds. Uh, some prismarine crystals. Potion of water breathing. Yeah, you know, sure, why not? You know what? And I won't have any regrets about it. That's pretty good. That's not bad. All right, let's just uh, do that and then get rid of the rest of the nugs. I just see diamond nuggets. Did you? <laughs> you talking about prisoner crystals, boss? <laughs> I'll right, see what we got in here as well, too. The Nether enabled. There's no reason why it wouldn't be enabled. Where my chest? I always do the chat. What the hell is this? This is not how a portal do. This is not how a portal do. Uh, fuck it, I'm going into the nether. Under the sea. Dun, dun, dun. Didn't want to share my research during the speed. I need one more wool. But I think it's okay now. Smile. Thanks for the fun streams. I love that I can do that as well, sir. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna set up a little. Uh, I'm gonna set up a little base here, and I want to see what the Nether's like. I'm a speedrunner at heart, man. Okay, <laughs> listen. There are things I am obligated to do. Okay, and I'm in a new world. I have to see what the environment's like. I gotta. I gotta know, dude. <laughs> I have to know. Oh, it's kind of small right now. Oh, I got carrots. 
Dude, you already know what I'm doing, man. You already know we gotta... We gotta make the garrets. Yeah, I need to look around for a sheep or kill some spooters. All right, I'm gonna kill a few spooters and get some wood before I go on in. Do I have any building blocks? Probably should take like one or two building blocks before I go a little bit. Not a bad idea, you know? Green book where? Uh, oh yeah. Was that like a thing? But they like tried fixing last season or whatever, but it was bugged out or something. I don't know if they've mentioned anything about green books or the recipe being a thing on here. Oh, uh, it's good to make with iron. Make a bucket. Cool. We got plenty of pickaxes. Um, just iron just wait for basic protection and then we'll run up everything else. Gotta have the clock, obviously. It will bring the, uh, it will bring the tunes and the jams in with us. Okay. Time to go kill some spies to find a ship. Very, very cool. Okay. All right. Can I change, ask what changed your status bar to that color? Oh, it's just a resource pack. Me and my teardrops shaped like onions. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay. Everything's good with that. Nice. All right. Let's do a little slip job. Respawn point set. We plant the husk. Thank you. All right. Let's go on to the nether and see, uh, what are you? I don't know what those things are. They look like crabs. I'm pretty sure they're not. So through the night. Sick. All right, let's do that. Thank you. Perfect. Anything else I want to craft before going in? I think I'll be fine. I think I'll probably be good. Has the Ender Dragon been killed yet? You can speed run? Yeah, that's a good thing to do on the first day alone. <laughs> uh, the Ender Dragon has not been killed because you don't need... Well, I don't believe it has been. Uh, you don't need to kill the Ender Dragon anymore to get to uh, the altar. Because the altar doesn't... Here, let me show you. Vault altar. The vault altar no longer requires uh, chorus fruit or chorus blocks, whatever they were back in season two, to be able to be made. So you don't have to complete the game, like the base game, to then get into vaults. They changed the approach on that entirely. So now you just need obsidian, stone brick, one diamond, and two chromatic iron ingots. Chromatic iron is their new overworld ore that's replacing replacing to some degree the vault ore, the vault rock ore that used to be down to like y level five that you would mine for that look very similar to stone chromatic iron is now found within these uh, deposits of vault cobblestone and vault stone so it's colored it looks really nice basically when you go like really deep down in the deep slate you can find apparently they're supposed to be fairly common but as we've seen in multiple occasions they can be quite rare <laughs> so we'll see how lucky we get um they're deposits of vault cobblestone that you use basically at, for making the uh portal to get in the vaults you don't use blackstone anymore you use the vault rocks the vault cobblestone and vault stone or whatever and then you can also find chromatic iron within those deposits so yeah sick Okay, um, cool. Let's see if this mod chain is anything to the nether. Is anyone? How do I build what's already in front of me? Is that gonna... I don't remember how to... This is weird. I'm uncomfortable with this. Yeah, that... This is my first time building a portal. I've never speed ran before, obviously. Um... <laughs> give me a second, I'm sorry. Just trying to relearn how uh, everything works in life. Has anyone been to the nether yet? I'm assuming someone probably has at some point. I need flint? All right, people. Okay, some people. Got it. V H. Let's go. Go where, bro? Right. 
16 months. Glad to be watching the VH again. Happy Content November, PZHL. Content November. It's actually it's a very heavy Content November. It's kind of crazy. Ah! Average. <laughs> I'm pulling up cards. <laughs> That's probably not a bad thing to pull up cards. Uh, negative 131, 95, 210. I'm not going to pull a... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to pull a pace lockout tournament moment. 115 enter. That's yeah, probably not going to ping the pace pals, fortunately. All right. What do we got around us here? We got some Ender can't Brothers. Take the Minecrafter out of the speed run, but can't take the speed run out of the Minecrafter. Real, so real. If I die in here, I'm probably just disconnecting and not coming back online. But yes, I am looking for a bastion. By the way, <laughs> I want loot. my fort let me in oh shit what a nice entry point <laughs> typical typical my saddle and give my horse armor i'm i'm literally i'm gonna ride a horse i'm gonna ride a horse around the overworld that's how i'm gonna find my base location you think i'm running around on foot to find where i'm gonna live Can we trade first for fire pots? We could, but I don't have a bastion. And I'm here. I don't really want to come back. Oh, runes! Hey there, bud. Hey there, bud. Hey there, bud. Oh yeah, I'm kind of stupid. about where I am. Hey, guys. <laughs> Bro, they changed the height of fortresses in 118. I swear you can literally go in the patch notes. Check the notes. Thank you. I'm assuming that I got this chest, but if I didn't, this is where I just came from. No, actually. Yeah, I'm just really kind of looking for chests at the moment. I'm not really trying to do too much. Tubble will try to do a lot for those skulls. Oh, Tubble wants blue skeleton skulls for something. Potions online? Yeah, I mean, I should probably pick up another wart. There's no reason for me to hold leather on my inventory and not pick up the wart. That's not a crafting table. I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. For his dolls. Nice armor. Um, oh. I see. Okay. Well, we're already in the market. <laughs> Already in the business. Yeah, dolls are a concept that we were not detailed on, and I don't really care to be. Holy shit, why are you just running? This dude's running around! Give me this. The blaze is speed running, man. What are they doing? All right, I came from down there. Got it.
There is a wee bit of server lag, so I need to be mindful of that. The hit distance and everything is a little, um... A little far. A little farther than I'd like it to be. Hey there, bud. Oh, you're all the way out there. All right. Volunteer just SMP percent? I mean, listen. <laughs> I'm not trying. To, I'm just trying to explore the world and see what it's got to offer, you know? That is literally a death sentence. If I, I actually cannot fight blazes without fire res at the minimum. So I actually shouldn't be here. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go look for, um, yeah, I'm going to go look for a bastion. Get some, uh, fire res traits going. Actually, what is the, uh, what's the recipe for a fire res again? Is it magma cream? It's magma cream. I have word. I've got a bottle. I didn't bring the bottle in. This is this a real pizza? What's up, Emily? Yo. Or P kills dragon. Take that up with the dragon, Zane. Wouldn't be my fault if it happened. Hey! Don't do that. Stop that. Ow! Oh, shit. This could actually kill me. Don't underestimate gas on 7,000 P! I feel like I'm back on 114 when I load into another. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh. Hey man. This is how I die. This is absolutely this is literally how I die. Ugh. Fucking hitbox. Man. Hey! Ah oh, shit! How did you predict the movement? This is extremely annoying. <laughs> okay, I, I hit these on land. And you know what? I can say that now because I've been to land. I, can, I literally hit these on land. Why are you running away from me, man? <laughs> Don't mind me just exploring the, exploring the world, seeing where to build a base. <laughs> Dude! I literally hit it and it flew back away! Give me the investment! Ah, so, 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 fire lasts longer! Dude, I'm butterfly clicking. Ah, fuck. Okay, that's illegal. Stop it. Ha! Huh! Minus 17 minutes. Skill issue. Actually true. What about drop? Gas here. I'm taking that. What else the drop experience? There's something red that like It's just soul sand. Like some sort of cobblestone. I don't know what that is. Hey guys, welcome back to my all advancements. So, uh, trying to beat my 421 PP. Ouch. By the way, I gotta say it. I absolutely love the style of the health bar that they added. Don't know if that's custom coded or if it's a different mod that's using it. Regardless, whatever it is, wherever it comes from, it's incredible and I love it dearly. Very sleek, very cool. Oh, round two, Pepe laugh. Hey, bud. I'm so far away from my home portal. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I'm not. I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this. I'm literally going to die to a gas inside of this first ass nether. I want to slot through there. Whoa, dude. 
Oh! oh! What a snipe! Second fort. Sick, dude. <laughs> okay. Well, I found the I found the structure in the region. I did find the second region structure. War Forest Fortress. You know what? Honestly, it's completely contained up by terrain, but it's still a six out of ten just for that, you know? Damn, this all gee is a good fort. Damn, I kind of miss AA. <laughs> don't tell anybody I said that. And by anybody, I mean myself. Don't don't tell me that I said that. I'm just talking out loud a little bit, you know? Reset? Nah, I... The overworld was pretty nice. Holy shit. Oh, that's what it was. There's the number values when you attack something. I got it. Come on over, bud. I'm gonna really think that I got a Wither Skeleton drop with that. Take my time. Take my time. Surprised I didn't get a little on fire there. Ah, that's a little section that I can hop through, huh? Hey, bud. Hey, hey, come around. Oh, you're just coming through there. Look at this genius. Oh. Dude, how do we get here in Vol Hunters? It'll be funny trust, yeah. Put the wood one higher? Well, no, I'm trying to block the blazes as well. Not just the wither skeletons. Woo, that's a good few of them. Honestly, a reset might not be a bad idea. His rates are pretty abysmal. That man, thank you. Oh! Looking good. Looking good. Why does this look so cool? <laughs> I don't know why it looks so sick. Is this entertaining or should I leave? <laughs> what the f- Where did my inventory go? Hotkeys, little W? Oh, two of them. Oh, they run. Oh. Wait. Is that just a thing in vanilla that can't get through these spots? I didn't know that. Huh. Surely I should have known that. That's so funny. All right. I don't know what kind of potions would be viable, but I might set up like a brewery or something to start things off. Hey, give me something. I don't know what you can give me. Um. I don't know if I should be taking gold. It's like if I find a hog one, maybe I could just trade like a gold or two with them. Do a little classic moment. Even speedrun, bro. I mean, like I did go to land and I did get like sixth place. I mean, you know, like I'm kind of a big deal. Ooh. I've already been through here. Our potions vanilla. I'm assuming you mean to ask, are the potions in the game the same ones of vanilla, not are potions in general just vanilla? Uh, to answer that, I have no idea. I don't know how I dodged them, but I did. 
You forgot the speedrunning timer? No, it's... It, I mean... That was an incredible shot. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm lagging out. I'm done. I'm gone. I think I'm going to say goodbye to the fort. Grab a cactus. Not going to disrupt nature. It's not my cactus to grab. I can't explain it. But if you knew, you'd know. Wait, wait. If I'm out of render, if I'm out of render of that blade. Damn it, man! I want to kill those guys so badly, but there's one blaze on there that's going to ruin my life. Oh. Surely I can just aggro all of these guys and then run away and the blaze isn't a problem anymore. Okay, we're just going to do this one at a time. I'm getting a skull drop. Whether the game likes it or not. There's so many in this- well, I don't like that lag. Okay, why is that like the Omega Blaze? Oh yeah, bud! You know, actually, I don't think I like being here. I think I'm just gonna leave. I also have no food. Is there slash spawn? There's slash spawners. I'm gonna make my way back home. I'm done with another. <laughs> and by that, I mean I'm going to uh, return to the, the direction where my portal is. And in the process, conveniently find uh, a bastion along the way. This literally is right here and I didn't see it, dude. What the heck? Okay. Let's see how much damage has been done. And first of all, is that a brute boy? Oh, you bet your ass it is. Let's see. Um, so, first of all, nice bad gaps or nice uh, low ramparts. I can't tell if the gaps are good or bad. Uh, let's oh. Yeah, baby. Give me a little bit of that and give me a little bit of this, please. Thank you so kindly. All right. I'm going to break the chest. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm in a bastion. I'm not an idiot. I was going to break the chest out of courtesy for my fellow SMP members. Don't think I'll be doing that, actually. Back for the best POV involved hey, boys. Hunters. You guys aren't brutes, you're all just chilling. You guys are just hanging out, having fun. Being being bros. Just just a couple dudes. Oh, shit. I'm assuming. <laughs> oh! Alright, I see a little bit of uh what was looted here. The other direction wasn't looted for some reason. That's interesting. Let's see. What do we got? Good gap? Good gap! We got one good gap. Hold on. Oh. We're block lag for a second there. Watch out. Watch out. 
Double good cap! No way! Oh! Oh, shit! Everything's fine. Everything is totally fine. Everything is totally fine. Just thought I was gonna die? <laughs> just content. Just hiking up content. That's all, man. Hey, bud. God, I'm such a good streamer, dude. Too good, gappers. Alright. Sumos hasn't been taken yet. Oh! Oh, my God. Wait, can I just... Wait a minute. I have to do this. I'm, I'm legally required and obligated to do this. Such a good stuff. Sorry. That was just a personal thing. Alright, so... Hey, bud. Let's, um... Are you able to get over here? Answer is yes, you definitely are. Don't know what happened to your friend. Some of the note shows that uh, if you haven't seen Brutes really much before, Brutes and AI are not incredibly intelligent. Yeah, anyway. Hey. You get up from there? I don't think so. <laughs> I can't with these Bruce, bro. Alright. If I remember how things work here, we're gonna do a little, uh, we're gonna do a little, little, uh, little some stuff here. Oh, it opens. Huh, well, that makes my job easier. That makes my job significantly easier. Wasn't there a brew somewhere down here? There was a brew just chilling here. I know there was. There was a brew somewhere down these parts. Why level 39? And I'm also... Oh, God. Where... Are you the brew that I was... No, you're not the brew that I was looking at. Average stables route attempt, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay, there must be something preventing them from... Hey, bud. I'm getting me some gold today. Alright, this is the little small gap. A little... little blip and then underneath here, I'm assuming. Here. That'll prevent anybody from getting down. Yeah. Not gonna change the fact that I'm obviously still terrified. And I don't know what this amount of gold is gonna do for me in the early game, but you know what? That's not really up for me to decide. But it's mine now. It's tiny little bit. That was a uh, full gold rampart, by the way. Every gold block that could have been there was there. That's uh, that's pretty sick. That's that's uh, that's pretty cool. Skill issue, bud. Yeah, we'll take bald apple ingredient now. Interesting. Okay, so it's that with gold blank. Okay. I don't know if I'd spend it on gapples. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Hey, but so you're not gonna like what I'm about to do to your uh, your stash you got here. But uh, it's kind of not really my problem. You know what I mean? I'm being like, super cautious at the moment. There are def definitely a few piggies. Hey guys. That's gonna... Uh, what's my approach on this? I'd like to elevate myself a little bit. That'd be great. Um... Yeah, oh no, interesting. Okay. Cool. Can you pick up pig 
piglins? What you mean, like grab them by their waist and just oyster them? <laughs> what do you mean, pick up piglins? Let me just take one home. Oh, what are you doing there, bud? Like villagers? Huh. <laughs> Oh, you mean for like bartering, bartering purposes? Like I'd be able to take them home and just barter with them there? I did not see you actually, I have no idea. It's because I was looking at Chad and he was being considerate. <laughs> uh, the speedrunner, he's not paying attention. I'll spare his life today. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. My gold. Wait a minute, are you? Are you? Are you about to tell me? Two full gold gap? Wait, no. Three? Four? Five? Oh, wait, actually, there wasn't gold in the last one. Wait, no, there were, literally was not a full gap before. I think I said full gold when there wasn't. I think I'm an idiot. There might be full gold in this one, though. If there's gold right here! Oh, man. 11 out of 11 on both. I'm glad Damn. to see you back on the VH grind. Looking forward to what the season brings. Much There's one more stream. chest that I want to get. <laughs> I don't... There's one more... You know the chest. I want to get that chest. I just... I think that would... I just don't know how to route it without getting killed. There's actually a couple of chests, but... I don't think I want to deal with hoglins? Brutes are one thing. Hoglins are another. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying that. They're both, like, pretty bad on this ping that I'm on right now. What's that, green ore? Uh... Something night. I've never routed like this before. I don't know exactly where the, uh... Oh, I can cheat. Uh, okay, so it's, like, over... Oh. oh my god, is he right on... Wait a minute, on the mark? Oh! Oh my god, is he... He speed runs. We're back, baby people. Found the valuables? I would like to elevate from this position, please. You think I should get a glowstone now? I mean, yeah, I'm literally right here. I'm not watching. Inventory? What do I not need? I don't need... Um... Honestly, probably don't need the other crimson. I think I'll be fine without. This is, like, definitely the safest place that I could be doing this. I'm glad that we're all on the same page. That'll be enough for me. That's about all, uh, all I need. Okay. Let's, uh, skedaddly doodle out of here, yeah? Whatever I said. Where's my progress? <laughs> I completed my first vault. Where's the where's the progress screen? Where's the completion screen? What the hell, man? All right, cool. Side quest done. <laughs> Side quest complete. Uh. Oh, it oinks in my inventory. Great, cool. All right. Side quest one is good and done. So we'll bump this down and take a little tune. What can we make with you? Yeah. Colossal chest wall. Okay. Ah, yeah. Golden apple. Block of gold, gold ingot, vault apple. And crafting grade. So I'm assuming you get those from the vaults. Because you can't craft them. Okay, but everything else... Yeah. 
lot to make here. Oh, we're checking over right now. Okay. Thanks. All right. What are we taking with us? Heart of the Sea, of course. Uh, uh, good repeat of last season. Um, let's see. Diamond we can take as well, too. What am I grabbing? What am I grabbing? What am I grabbing? What am I grabbing? Yeah, my inventory is so... How do I... Uh, I want to make a backpack, man. I have too much stuff. I have too many things. I hate this, man. I can't take all this stuff. I can't take all these things, and I don't know what to take and what not to take. Oh, yeah, the bamboo. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about the bamboo, right? Good reminder. I also don't need the mushroom stew. I have a ton of it. I got the 18 garrets, so we're good on that. Some would say Martin. Ditch the soup. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Uh, what direction are we at? South. Directly south. We are at negative 960 and 1700. I'm gonna loop, like, kind of back around, because I don't want to go too far out from spawn. Second ship. How's it going, bud? Do I need sheep for anything else right now? I think I do. I don't think I do. But we do have a second ship right here. What you got in here? Did numpad one or zero for the what am I looking at menu? But I don't want that menu though. I don't want to use that menu though. Where's the chest in this? You'd think I'd remember. Boy, were you wrong. Moss blocks! What do I need that for? Are moss blocks useful for anything at all? Mossy living... Okay, surface moss. Interesting. Can you grow more moss when you, uh... Is that just a thing? You can grow moss? Oh, cool. So we essentially have as much moss as we need now because I have some moss. Okay, pretty cool. And then let's do a little skirt down here. And take a little gander at... Oh, it's literally right here too! Damn, these things are close. Alright, cool. I don't want to take all the loot for myself. I just I see shipwrecks and my brain fires its neurons and says, go. Are the backpacks you can craft for early game? I'm assuming not. All right, where is the... Goes here and goes here. Oh, I see where you are. What are you? Another coconut? Dude, I want to give it to somebody. Second heart of the sea? I got a coconut disc I can sell off. Just give it to somebody. Um, It's fine. Yeah, well, I don't want to travel on the ocean right now. Let's see what this biome has to offer for us. As a reminder again, I appreciate all the primes, all subscriptions. It feels so weird to say there's been too many for me to keep up with at the moment, but I... God! Damn! She got some leg! Oh! What are you doing tonight? That's just not right. What the hell? 
Good God almighty, man. You know what, actually? You know, now that I think about it... Okay, yeah, but that actually looks like kind of dope. You know what I mean? No, I'm not... Okay, man. Chat, no. <sighs> like, okay, let's be honest. It actually does look kind of sick, I'll be honest. War motion. That high, like that, it's pretty good, man. I don't know. I'm not doing, I'm not building based on the two. <laughs> so would you like me to go mechanism as well? <laughs> Do its coward. Any mechanism enjoyers for storage? Possibly? Go create. No, but actually, I was looking at some stuff with create. Um, I was looking with, uh, at some stuff with create before. Uh, like, not really for, I guess, for base ideas. But I don't know. You guys know how some people make... Giant bases that use movable blocks as like the entity mover or whatever for like grand entrances for base structures and stuff. I don't know. I was looking at that and I thought that would be really cool. I, I think it'll be probably a long time before we'd ever be able to do something like that because I'm sure a lot of create stuff is gated behind vault resources. But it was an idea that I had of like that would be really cool at some point. What the heck, man? Who's been here? <laughs> Hello? It's into the boat underwater, man. Obviously, that'll work. Core reef base? What's up, Jojo? How's it going? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Someone should have told me a long time ago. Dude. You get, we, you do see the vision, right? <laughs> you see the vision. Damn. Oh my God, wait, does it just... Oh my god. Wait a minute, does it connect to land? Or is it just... Don't tell me- Okay, it does- Right, I've, I almost thought for a second that it was like its own 360 just uh, out of the ground. Uh. <laughs> But no, it does like it's a it does smooth off. Can you imagine cutting out like the middle of that? <laughs> we can fix it. Can you imagine just cutting off the middle of that, glassing up the entire surrounding, and just having this ocean view? It's not that far from spawn either, to be honest with you. Thirteen eighty seven hundred ninety. This would be a massive. Undertaking. This would take a long time. Reverse fish tank. <laughs> True, actually, yeah. Nature's compass in this pack? Yeah, yeah, I saw the nature's compass on there. Hear me out. What about just making multiple cool bases? Thoughts? I'm gonna pass on that one, Chief. I mean, I do need several hours of content every day. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would give me a better view. Hey! Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, bud. Not looking to test my luck this early on?
Okay. All right. How far away was the? It's complete opposite. Oh, God. Yo, Karen, they have a thousand bits. It's the perfect dash Elytra Firework Airport. Oh my God! Wait, you're right. Yeah, cause with the dolphins, bro. Imagine we had an exit with like, uh, leaded dolphins. And it was like a fucking underwater runway, and you just go into swim mode and would dash and it... <laughs> And then we unlock waste zones and none of it matters, but the idea of it is there. That's gonna make Project Bioshock. <laughs> you cut out a large part and make a mouth kind of thing for that? Or you just shoot up a mouth? But how to Minecraft one base? No, 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 Jacqueline, you're not understanding. Take how to Minecraft one base, but submerge it underwater. This is that. This would be that idea, pretty much. Subnautica base. You have a ruin portal over there too? It was kind of meant, meant to be, honestly. Let me smooth that out a little bit. Okay, um, that's not what I want to be doing. Let's look around a little bit more because realistically, I'm gonna need a different base. <laughs> I don't think that, um, uh, well, I don't know. We could carve out like a small little section. I just want to see, is there any land nearby? There's nothing nearby. The hell is this? No, but that's actually sick. I, I, I had no idea. I mean, it's another reason why I'm glad that I didn't watch any of the streams prior to joining, which again, for anyone wondering, I didn't watch any. What's up, bud? Finding quite a few villages. Oh, that looks sick. That looks cool. A little meadow type bio. Blooming plateau. Very cool. Probably a waste of saturation, but it's fine. Oh. A little exposed mine shaft and exposed spawners well too. Hey, it's not Y level. I don't know how my Y level is 65 right now. I feel like my Y level is like 170. This is cool. I mean, it's been in here. Um, okay, so what? I think I'm gonna nab a village. I think I'm just gonna nab this village right now. Set up a little base. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up a little base. Throw some items down. Let's go mining. Let's try and get some progression going. We've looked around. I'm I'm getting a feel like I oh someone's already been here. Okay, I don't know if well maybe someone's been here. Maybe the villagers just left their doors open. This looks like players have done this though. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll set down a chest just here. This is fine. Um, small little spot. And then we'll figure out what kind of base we're looking for. Because, like, I understand... I'm understanding what the generation looks like. And if I go to a different area, kind of what I should expect. It's like, you know, okay. Let's just, uh... We'll focus on the base in a little bit of time. Not right now, though. But the mountain with a staircase? That does... Yeah, the mountain with a staircase did look pretty nice. I'll be honest. You're not gonna catch me saying that it didn't. Alright, what are we bringing with us to eat? We got a gapple if we need it, but we probably don't. We'll bring the mushies for food. So we'll make some bowls. Just keep those over in the corner there. Good. Carry the wood on us. Don't need the blocks. Iron. If we're going in a cave, probably need full iron. Just full iron gear will be nice. Soul speed is not a bad thing to hold on to. Don't need the leather for anything right now. Another word and stuff. I mean, I feel like I'd be 
going against episode one if I didn't bring the music with me. Uh, we'll carry the diamonds in case we want to make anything new. I'll get some more wood before I go as well, too. Make another axe and a shovel. Keep things simple for me. Yeah, let's cut down a little bit of some trees here. Underwater is always the dub. Yeah, just the, the warm ocean, or the lukewarm and warm ocean just looks amazing. And it seems like there's so much height as well, too, where I can make multiple floors and... Yeah, because that's the thing with modded. Modded rewards large, large-scale build areas. The more just empty space you have to put stuff down, just a giant vessel of storage, the better your playthrough. At least, like, the... Not better, but the easier your playthrough is, I guess. That's why I love the uh, Ocean Monument, because I had so much room for everything, and I just wound up spending... Or I just wound up using, like, only the edges for most of the stuff. I, my point still stands. Oh, uh, what else do I need? White bed, we already got a respawn. What should we bring? Water bucket. Keep the iron on us. Keep the wood as well, too. Just hold that on over there. Okay. It's fine. The apple I'd rather save for right now. I think we're good. I should maybe hold on to the clock just so I know what time of day it is. <laughs> Said no player ever. <clears throat> oh, I need one disc with you? Oh, yeah, I've got two. Nice house, man. All right, let's do a little bit of mining and see, uh, let's see how lucky we get with trying to find vault stone and the chromatic stuff or whatever. Underneath Y level 30. We're not going to rush there right now. But I do just want to see what this has in store for me. Not going to focus on modded ores really too much either right now. Just going to focus on the basics. Maybe mark that place. Um, yeah, actually, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I should not do that. <laughs> I am on hard difficulty, and I have no armor on. Essentially, no armor. Um, home for now. Yeah, we'll see if we can get anything from the, uh... I don't know what that spawner would really have to offer me. We'll see if we get anything from the minecart chests. That is... In the understanding, this hasn't been looted already? I don't think it's been looted! I don't think it's been looted, and I will be taking the pumpkin seeds and the overgrowth seed. I don't know if overgrowth seeds are going to be used too much in uh, recipes, but if I need them, I have them, because those cannot be obtained naturally. Gotta find those in loot, I'm pretty sure. Shield? Shields are not a thing in this. The only shields that persist are vault shields, which are not obtainable right now, but vanilla shields are not a thing. So that little bit of extra protection that you have while well, in the early game just does not exist. Okay, it's not chromatic iron, but we got full stone. Yes, man. <laughs> Deeper slate. <laughs> so this is a really cool thing, by the way. You might notice a lot of these like colored bits on here. These aren't actually anything. It's just like a texture thing. It's kind of like a varied texture. They don't give you anything extra when you break like the colored blocks compared to just the regular stone. Um, this is a nice little thing that they added. Um, so the way that this block works, the vault cobblestone, you use this to make, um, what's it called? You use this to make portals, vault portals. You also use it to make chiseled surface sort of quartz block covers. Uh, drawer controllers, demagnetizers, tool vice, drawer controller sleeves, magnet modification table. Yeah, so it's got some use to it. Um, but then also, whenever you break these, there's a 20% chance, I believe, 10 or 20% chance that you get a chip vault rock from it. 
and four chip vault rocks and one raw chromatic iron gives you a vault rock that you can put in a vault altar and turn into a vault crystal. That's the, uh... That's the basis of it. So fighting this, pretty nice. Pretty good. We still have one more thing to find, but this is going to be as much as I can find of it, I'm taking it. I can't tell what's ping and what's not. Are they fortunable? I have no idea. I've got no clue. Can you replace and break again? Um, well, this is stone. This isn't the cobblestone that I'm getting right now. I say getting as I'm letting it just drop under the ground. But I'm assuming once you break it, then it's melted and put it back down, the chance is not there anymore. Silk touch work? I don't know. I have silk touch anything. Has anyone even enchanted? Has anyone got an enchanting route? Because, like, protection is not a thing. Apparently, contrary to everything that I've learned growing up, protection is actually not important. So, uh, yeah. Negative 53. Well, oh! Yes, man! I'm taking all this home, baby. Just put my food in the applicable spot. Thank you very much. Guys, I think chromatic's not ever exposed. <laughs> ah, I'm being a dickhead. Sorry. I hear your message on it can't be exposed. I'm just kind of mucking around in the cage right now, having fun. I heard the message like 10 minutes ago. I'm, I'm just paddling around. It's cool. I get it, though. Thank you for the help. I don't think you've ever been told that. No, I was just told that like a couple minutes ago. It was cool, though. Diamond in the vault rock? And in the desk, baby. I gotta figure out what am I eating, man. I talked about Nando's after just after thinking that I wanted food. <laughs> I just decided that I, I'm not hungry anymore. Apparently, uh, is it a Chipotle day for me? It might be a Chipotle day for me. I'm a little bit sad though because the Chipotle, and I, I say this with no disrespect to Chipotle workers, because if there's ever a if I could tip them directly. I would, because I know they go through so much shit. But Chipotle in Maryland, something in the way that they their tomatoes are... Holy shit. So good. Does that make it a vault diamond? <laughs> Wait a minute, you might be onto something. I had a conversation when we were talking about food with Jordan and Zine yesterday night when we were playing Ragnamod. Uh, after I... Had Abhorrently got pan pizza and deep dish pizza confused, but I would like to know your guys' opinions. Do we have deep dish pizza enjoyers here? Because I, Jordan was talking about deep dish pizza, and I realized that I've never had deep dish pizza before, like authentic Chicago style deep dish pizza, and I've only ever seen photos of it. And I'm upset because there's no deep dish pizza anywhere here in Spokane, but there was deep dish pizza locations in Maryland. And I wish that we had that conversation before I went, so I would have had the opportunity. But someone in Zane's Discord linked me, and apparently there is a service where you can uh, have Deep Dish Pizza shipped to you. Like, just all across America, basically, they'll ship you Deep Dish Pizzas. It's like 75 bucks for two pizzas, which is, like, understandable. It's kind of like Cheesecake Factory shipping, almost. And I'm... I think I'm gonna do it. Because I don't think that there's any other way that I'm going to be able to try to eat this pizza until I travel again. Oh, I don't want to... I'm sure I can grab some guac. On 
Mountain side. I will say the guacamole from here is significantly better than the guacamole in Maryland, but that's just that's just West Coast buff. That's just West Coast buff. Is Jordan forcing you? Yeah, he's shoving that right down my throat. I beg him not to. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm doing it under my own conscious decision. But I don't know, man. Like it, it seems. I'd be down, you know. Speaking of traveling, I don't think... I don't know, man. I get anxious about going on planes. Like, I get heavy anxiety thinking about flying, getting to the airport, actually sitting down, waiting to board, the whole boarding process, sitting down in the plane on my seat. I'm, like, anxious as shit, you know. Freaking out a little bit. I gotta pee and poop. Because, you know, the... the hey, listen... You got anxiety, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why you're, you're <laughs> your bladder and your colon just go crazy, but let me tell you, man, that restaurant I use probably at least once on every flight I use that damn bathroom. I fucking hate it, dude. Literally sit down in my seat and I just need to pee immediately and it's the worst experience, man. I hate it. I gotta take medication or something, dude, but I sit down on the plane or whatever and I'm so anxious about flying and then the plane takes off, and I'm like, God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Like, as soon as the plane lifts off the ground after it does that, you know, thing where it's going off the runway, and lifts off into the air, I'm like, damn. Flying's actually really nice. And I realized, after I uh, took an Uber to my airport, uh, when I was getting, when I was leaving Maryland, and I'm pretty sure Uber charged me an additional $28 on my trip because my driver took a wrong turn that lasted about 15 minutes on the highway. And uh, probably tailgated literally every single car like they were trying to rack up wanted points. I realized that planes don't actually give me anxiety at all. It's the lack of control. Something about me is that I have basically driven everywhere I've needed to go and hardly been driven around for basically ever since I got my license. I am always the one behind the wheel to drive. I rarely ever have been driven around by anybody. So I'm naturally used to the idea of I'm in control of what happens. This is my vessel. Uh, nobody can take this feeling of control away from me, right? But after I was, you know, sat in that, and, and listen, Still rated five stars, you know what I mean? Don't care how shitty the ride is. You got me to my destination in one piece. I rate that shit five stars easily. I filed a fucking complaint asking for my $25 back from Uber, but that's aside from the point. <laughs> hey, come on now. Okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly where to go for like the deepest caves possible, and I don't know with these type of oceans, the custom generation, what, uh... Oceans contain the most? What the hell? Wait a minute, is this Alpha? Wait a minute. Oh, it's Alpha Islands! Alpha Islands sent her into this mod? That's fucking awesome! I was like, I recognize that blue tone of ocean. Yeah, it was small as hell, but there's Alpha Islands in here. That's sick. Where's my starter Pokemon? <laughs> Where's my starter Pokemon at? Damn. It's so small. What is this? The ocean generated all out to here, and the land is this tiny little blip. Does not work for the base? I mean... It's kind of... I don't know if I want to do, like, what I did in Season 2, where I just went straight into a monument and made that my base initially. Because, I don't know, maybe... Maybe we could genuinely hang out here. And then move over to a larger base when I've got better tools to be able to work with that. Because clearing out that area is going to be a massive deal, right? And before we get waystones and everything set up and all that kind of transport easy. 
like easy transport, then getting out of there is just going to be difficult in general. surrounding it too the water trick works it actually works man yeah because they're not exposed that's so sick yeah because the veins are massive to begin with we were told about that original ah we were told about that originally hell yeah man okay i'm gonna stop accident what do you want for the iron That's a very good question now that you bring that up. <laughs> WP, W zine. Oh my lord. All right. Sick. Okay. So yeah. All right. Meta then from what we figured out. Water caves are the play for finding these because they're not technically exposed to air. Sick, dude. Okay. So, I'm curious of how much of this we'll actually need. Because we need one per vault rock. It's four of the vault rock shards. Or fragments or whatever they're called. And then, there, because there's a bunch of different recipes, right? There's the chromatic steel, which is four of the chromatic iron. Or I think it's eight, actually, chromatic iron. Four or eight, one of the two. Surrounded by the coal, not cobalt. Re something, some stuff and thing or whatever. We did. The, I'm not. I'm not leaving any of it, brother. I ain't leaving. Not the ball rocks. Not the iron. I'm taking every bit I can grab. Give me all this bad boy. Give me all that. Hell yeah. I left a little on my vein. Might go back earlier for fortune. I don't know. Yeah, it might just. <laughs> Might, might just come back at a later time, grab it, you know, if I'm feeling. <laughs> Giga Chad Z. <laughs> oh, you know, I just... If I'm feeling like it. Alright. So let's take a look. We got 36 rock chromatic iron. So we need one for a vault rock. Quartz fiber. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Um, And then tinted glass as well, too. Neat. Smelt it up. So it's one to one for chromatic ironing it. Iron generator from there, antenna base. Okay. Oh, this is used in a lot of recipes. Raw magnetite. That's how you do the magnet stuff or whatever. Got it. Okay, cool. The vault altar needs two of these. One diamond, obsidian, stone, brick, that whole deal. Got it. Okay, fairly easy. Troller, netherite gear, uh, a lot of stuff. But, but b the basic thing is that we have it for the altar, and we have it for the rocks. So that's... That's good. Okay, cool. It's used in a lot of stuff. So we're gonna need that for a lot of things. I... I'm gonna do a couple things really fast here. First of all... Just wanna deck myself out just a little bit. Feeling good. Cool. Uh, now we have full gold armor. Nice. Uh, what else do we... Helmets and boots are the same protection. Okay, how about durability there? Smart one. Actually, um, the, the, the boots and the diamonds, you, sir, you've wasted them? Uh, I, I see that you're clearly staring at diamonds that you actually haven't even harvested yet because there are so many in the water around you, but actually you just wasted nine diamonds. How does that make you feel, streamer? What, you want me to rock around with a diamond chest plate and leggings and iron hell and boots like a little bitch or something? I'm a, I have the diamonds. What, you think I'm poor? 
Come on, man. Close the door. Right. All rocks. This is a little bit of a pain to try and break this up. If I have, I'll just break this up and grab it as I'm moving around. No, but really, like, uh, diamonds are so prevalent in water caves. So we have, we've got plenty, dude. Probably. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I need to be careful. I need to be careful. It's a really big deal. And that is an extremely dangerous area. Yeah, th that area could very well kill me if I am not cautious. Shit. Okay, well... That's just going to have to be uh, how it is. Let's continue mining up all of the stone. Fall stone, and we'll get ourselves out of here. You can always enable mobs in the minimap. Oh, uh, true. And that setting's still enabled. Not wrong, not wrong. Let's make sure we get all the stone here. You should run a vault? Well, you know, the thing is, like, I'm getting there, you know? Breaking scares them. Yeah, I kind of grasped that. <laughs> um, if, if you're wondering what those things were, they're called stonelings. Stonelings drops heart of diamonds, and heart of diamonds can be used to make uh, pick a rings. Kind of really wanted a pick a ring like sooner rather than later, although that would have been pretty sick. So, yeah. Tiny bit upset that uh, that happened, but it's not a big deal. I mean, realistically, oh, you know what? I wonder if. Um, Surely mending is a thing, right? I can't see a reason why mending wouldn't be a thing. For... Um... Pickerangs and stuff like that? Find that in our stuff? Yes, we found one... We found one vein of iron. 36 of it. And I've got enough to give around to people who need it if they want. So I think H was pitching that he would like some. Got some for him. Uh, Zine found some as well. Uh, I don't know if Zine sorted out H or not. But regardless, if anybody needs any chromatic iron, I, I got a little bit of it today now. So. How are you new season so far? Glad to be a part of the dev team now. Excited to see you some things that I've added myself. Hell yeah. Um, so far things are pretty fun. Just kind of mucking around in the overworld. Having some fun with paper armor. But uh, yeah, everything seems pretty cool so far. I definitely like the chromatic iron and all of this like underground compared to just the vault rocks in season two. So, so far that's the biggest change that I've experienced so far. And I like it a lot. Dark Horse still a thing? No. Anything that used to reward progression for monetary incentive is gone now. The chromatic iron spawn exposed in the water like you expected? Yep. 36 vein exposed in the water just like we had all thought. Very, very sick. So we've got, we've got the meta down for how to find it. At least in the current form. Because I don't know if chromatic iron is going to be made easier on this world. Um, Let's go. I think Iskal was mentioning at some point to us, or someone had passed off a remark saying, like, to log out with all your valuable stuff in case anything is reset. After for the first day, so I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. I don't know what resetting would refer to specifically, or if that was even something he said. I just read it in the Twitch chat message. But I, I guess I could see, like, if not a serious amount of progression was made on day one, that they would reset it for chromatic iron being significantly more common than it is because of how much chromatic iron is going to be needed in future. And if the only reasonable way of getting it is through uh, water caves, then eventually those will just be tired out. So, yeah. Like, I, I would understand. I would under Dan if he did that. You can find it in vaults, though. Oh, can you? Interesting.
If you can find a glosser and buy them, then if you grab one and hold it out, stumblings will walk toward you. Interesting, really. Why is your rival ticket 6k when scales are 1k? Uh, simple fact is I hate poor people. Just get more channel points, you know? I was in a call the other day setting up the channel point reward stuff or whatever, and we were kind of going back and forth on what, like, a good price would be. And I was hearing, like, what other people were pricing their stuff at, so I pitched mine for 6k. I can definitely lower it in future days, especially if, like, other people have theirs is considerably lower, right? So I probably will, but that's what I just decided on for the first day. Totally could be way too expensive type of thing, but yeah. Just a day one... I was going to say day one deal, but it's more like day one scam. Ah, you get the point. What are the rival tickets for? Rival tickets are for a chance to get into the arena at the end of a stream, I believe. I should probably make the vault altar while I'm waiting for this. Because I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to get into a vault or not. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we see if we can actually, you know, like, make it into a vault in the first place? What do we need? Obsidian, Sunbreak, Diamond, and Chromatic Iron Nugget. Okay, not a bad idea. So give me two of those. Give me... Where's the Obsidian? There's my Obsidian. Good. <laughs> kind of forgetting about the, uh, the critical part of everything. Yeah? And then a Diamond. All right. Maybe it's first, uh, Vault Altar. Oh my god. Alright. Surely this will be... So they removed a lot of the, you know, like, Wither... St Wither Stars, Heart of the Diamond, you know, like, those kinds of things from the beginning. And generally, resources are a lot less. So let's see, uh... Let's see what we got. So what do we need? Ship Vault Rock and Rock Chromatic Iron. So one of you, and we got 52 of you. Do I have any more than that? Or do we only have 52? We only have 52. I say only, it's still a lot. Did I just get a lucky altar on my first, <laughs> on my first altar? Did I just get a lucky altar on my first altar? <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Sick. Good. Cactus, though? Did we run past like five cacti while we were doing stuff? That's actually not the. So, what do we need? We need. <laughs> we need diorite. Uh, one redstone, one. Uh, amethyst shard, and one cacti. All right. You know, fair enough. <laughs> Good, okay. So that'd be great for the fact that I've dropped off basically all of those. But yeah, we can get those resources fairly easily. Okay, um, there was cactus in the nether that was like 800 blocks out. So what I'm gonna do is... Is there really amethyst? Well, yeah, it's like 10,000 amethyst nodes where I'm at. It's fine. We have plenty of it. Can I make a niche's compass with the materials that I have at the moment? Sapling, logs, and a compass. Fairly easy. I just need to grab redstone so I don't have any redstone. Okay, let's grab some redstone and then we'll uh, make our way with things. But uh, in the meantime, you know, it could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs>
so that's cool and it shows the uh that's so sick that is so cool okay damn okay so you can just start arenas like that the winner of the arena is also added to the glares of the industry that is oh, that's cool okay so i mean yeah i i haven't seen one of the well i i kind of have but i don't remember it enough let's run it up hey, let's run a, let's run a, an arena up. see what we got the arena. Oh. So I have suspicion about something and I think it's my fault? <laughs> um. Luminosity? Tristy? Wait! Darcer! <laughs> Dorian with the W! Hell yeah! Wait, F3 and A? Reloading all No. Um. So, Dual Aaron. GG's well done. If you haven't seen an arena, basically, all. Instead of it being like it was before, where the 100 subs will go in and try and defeat a boss, and if the boss is defeated, I get a, get, I get a box. And if it's not defeated, then we lose, whatever. Instead, sub arenas are basically you all fight each other. It's kind of like that one uh, battle royale mode in. Um, hey, I'm not playing right now. Go lay down. I'm kidding. It's kind of like that one uh, battle royale mode in marbles. Anyway, and the weapon and health that you get is slightly better if you're like a tier three. I think a tier two or a tier three has a slight buff on that. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Um, the render. <laughs> I think I might be to blame for the render not working. Because the arena is supposed to be an arena, but I I pitched to people to download a um a mod a performance mod called uh, what was the um, performance mod called uh Rubidium. Let's see if it actually renders them properly this time. Go. Oh, yeah, it is Rubidium. Yeah, damn. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll run today without Rubidium and see how performance is. All the skins. Dude, so many no-skin Andes. It's so hard to keep track of all the individual fights going on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yogg's cat, damn! Play for good. Fistful of paintballs! Loves the ball! Loves the ball takes it home with a backstab! Can I get an halo exchange? <laughs> I might like make a ticket system or something if anybody needs an halo exchange just so I have like an organized area of where they are. I think the Vault Gods already know that it's your video. I read in chat something about it. I just wanted to confirm it myself. Alright. Fair game all around on this one, I think. This is so sick. What a cool idea. Did this gal talk at all about the team's development timeline with all of these features? Did he speak anything about about that? Like anything about development regarding this stuff? Or did he kind of keep it quiet? Elric. The one guy, a lot of health. Who gets the swing? Oh! Damn! Is there this guy wins? Thanks at home. Is there a way to make a channel point redemption for alias changes? That was something I was actually, I was just thinking about that, yeah. Like, just making a very cheap channel point redemption where you can just write your alias change. That would actually be very useful. I think I'm gonna set that up for next year if I don't forget. No, I wasn't, well, no, I didn't mean six months. I meant like um, for the integration and stuff like the arenas and things. I was wondering if he had spoken at all about development stuff on that. That's all. Hey, we got Blaze Boy. It's tier three, 17 monther. Run it up. The one guy wins on land? Real. 
That one guy wins the pace. Actually, sure. Let's go to a vault quick so I can go to sleep. Get some sleep, King. <laughs> I got a I got a bit to go before I get that cactus, so I I would I would get some rest if I were you. Today has been a much longer stream without getting into a vault than I expected, but it's been a good stream. So, Luna, creep up, great alley with the double kill. God damn! Hey, don't hey, don't meet this guy on Legacy PVP. Holy shit! Right. And the last available arena that we have. What do we got in here? Step attack with a tier two. With purple for tier two and green for tier three. All right. Is it up? That is scale in there with a one tier one for a nine monther. That's a gift bomb right there, I believe. And then fighters have their skins. Some of them do. Not too many, I don't think. Because a lot of people's IGNs are not the same as uh, their Minecraft username. <laughs> Actually, it's probably just an issue with skin loading in general. Maybe they just don't do it to a bit too extensive. I have no idea. It's in real 108. We're going soul. And when it full it, Verkar's got some pretty good health. Turn around, man! Oh! 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 Easy game. Are you kidding me with the quad? Back off of them, man. Holy shit. I can't, I can't PvP that well. I'm a fucking human being. You're, it was an AI fighting for you and it was fighting better than me. If you got any tutoring, you know, hit me up. Thank you very much for the five gifted. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Chat, if you guys are gifted at all, if you're just chilling back or whatever, there's been a lot of gifteds. Drop a thank you. Peace to the HL. Whatever you gotta do, just show a little bit of support. A lot of people showing just... You guys always turn up for following our streams, and I, I want to say that I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so, so much. Is it, um... A subscriber has 100 people? I think it's 100, right? The same way as it has been before. And then the, uh... Yeah, the raffle and the gladiator arenas are at the end. Right, so those five people who won the subscriber arenas will be entered into the gladiator arena at the end of the stream. That's so sick, dude. Get rid of his NHL? No, I didn't. Talking about I got rid of ink. Saw a lot of gladiators in there already. I'm going to be seeing a lot of familiar people. Easy enough. Okay. Exclamation mark. This might be the moment of all time. The moment that we've been waiting for. I have the quartz, and as a result, I have the diorite. One diorite. Secured. One amethyst shard? Secured. One cactus? Secured. And one red sun dust? Secured. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chad, you will never see the first crystal craft happen ever again like this. Bang! I need a button. Give me one full crystal. Blame Rubidium for not having particle effects. Probably something like that. We got our first crystal! With only a nine hour uptime. Yeah. 
I want to see what my other, what my next one has. Oh, I, I'm, I'm impatient. I have to. I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see. Where is the uh, this go? Wait. Oh, there we go. What do we got? Oh. There's actually no way. There's actually no way. Wait, where's my bell? Uh, the bell's here somewhere. I just can't. I can't find it. My brain. There it is. Yo, take the bell. Whoa. <laughs> Sick, man. What do I need? 14 dirt, three wheat, and five iron. Oh my god. It was literally just the what, dude. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. First crystal out of the way. Everything else follows suit. It's just basic economics. Something like that. That's what that means, obviously. Give me my dirt. Stop lagging! I have business to run! Oh, it's taking it in! I already took something in. Where's the wheat? I got a ton of wheat. I have two stacks of hay bales now. Everything's good. Everything's coming up millhouse. And then I got my iron. Bang, bang, bang! Second! Just like that, man. <laughs> Dude, the... The cactus and bell overlap. Oh my god. Alright, give me my third. Hold on a second. We're just running these down right now, man. I don't even care. Where's the, uh... Bang, 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 bang. Wait, no. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Good. Perfect. Alright. Surely these will, uh... Surely this will also be kind to me. Surely, right? Nine carrots, one glow squid. Okay, so we can start. We can take care of that a little later. That's fine. We can... We can worry about that a little bit later. I bet, you know, hey, first and second Christmas split. You're right. It's not bad. I'm waiting for it to give me an overgrowth seed, which I think if it actually did, this guy would have to answer to a lot of questions. We actually already have the carrots and everything, too. I just need to go and uh, bop a glow squid real fast. But, um, okay. Well, hey, listen, we can get on that another time. Okay, we've got our crystals. It's time. Three. You smelt into vault stone. I was told any variant would work. You telling me I was lied to? I don't believe it, man. I don't believe the lies. I dis I simply disagree. Make it into polished vault stone. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fair, fair enough. Fine. I guess I'll wait a little longer. Actually, guys, you know what? Actually, I just got really tired while all the smelting was happening. I think I'm going to end off the stream. And, uh, I'll probably catch you guys around tomorrow. But thanks for watching. It was a long stream. Well, let's go ahead and run up the raffle and uh, get up on that. I don't know. I just caught like a wave of tiredness right you know, like when you're eating, trying to like pack down food, you got to make sure that you minimize your time in between bites. Because your body, your body doesn't know that's full until you stop eating. That's when your body can actually calm down and think and say, wait a minute. I don't want any more food being added to my system. You got to minimize those in between times. I need four, four, three, three. Bang, 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 bang. That really do be a portal. Chad, I didn't keep you guys on here for nine hours just for me to not run a vault. I'm running a vault. Let me go ahead and finish my food real fast. Give me like two minutes to just scrap out of this bowl. We're gonna get a gear and then we're gonna run a vault. And then we out of this.
Locked chaotic. <laughs> oh, that was fast. That was fa Classic Escal. One spider soul charm, one blood vial, six black mob essence, two drown hide, one empty jar, and four rip pages. My first vault on season three is a scavenger vault. Are we spawning mobs? Scaffolding? Oh, there's a health pot in the... Hey, bud. How you doing? What the hell is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Spiders? Uh, blood vials are from... Okay. Black mob essence, skeletons is, and uh, zombies. Drownhide is from living chests? Empty jar is from those chests and rip pages are... Okay. So I only... Wait, spider soul charms are from... Wait, interesting. Wait. So is it mostly loot then? That... These items are gotten from, not mobs? Thanks, boss. Omega wooden chest? Okay. How much damage do you deal to me? I really gotta be, like, super cautious because I don't regen, so I'm trying to, like... Burger bun? Thank you for that. Rip page, don't... Oh, I do need a rip page. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Thank you. I gotta remember to to mark my way as I'm going. Oh wait a minute! I want to do this the same way that I uh, want to do it in the same way that I um, what's it called? Did it in scab vaults where I block it off entirely. That was nice actually. Like the way I used to do it. We're not scab vaults. Um, already have full inventory. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, and I've got full saturation too. Let me alone. I don't know. Oh, that's some chests. Hey, everybody. What the heck is going on with you? Ouch. Wait, this is ping diff. Let me- Ow! Fuck these guys. I can't trade properly. Oh, ha! No shot that guy deals like seven hearts of damage. Surely, right? Why do you have... Is it because range doesn't exist this early on? Should I have brought torches? I should have brought... Wait, I wonder if torches... Torches probably don't work on... Holy shit, I'm just trying to loot, guys. Leave me alone. Yeah, there's no shot that torches work on... I mean, it's all melee. Can you reach me from there? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, sick. Okay. Nice. Good safe spot. Really? Damn, okay. Get rid of the scaffolding. Hey, let me drink, uh, some health real fast. Thanks, boss. Fuck, my inventory's entirely full already. <laughs> Burger patty? Another netherite scrap. God damn, that's fast. Diamond nugget? Okay, I don't... Unless it's a vault diamond, which I don't believe that it is. Zombie hide, don't need. That's a lot of people. What the? Ah! I've lost my way! There's so many mobs! Holy shit! Hey, leave me alone. Hey, leave me alone. Lose the boat? There's no way I'm talking to a boat denier right now. This is ridiculous, man. Never mind. If I die because of a lack of boat, I'm coming to you first. There is no way you're running up to me right now from that- The follow distance on these guys, they're insane! I love that. Actually, that's super cool. Okay, um... 
So we've hit a lot of common rooms to start. It's understandable. Hi, guys. Jesus, that damage is nuts. That's, uh... Oh, wow, it's consistent health bots. Driftwood. Not sure why I would need that for anything. I don't need the diamond nugget. This is overwhelming, man. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right. Hey. Okay, so we're headed... What direction are we headed? South from here, then? All right, that's ideal. I'm so... I don't want to be, but I'm so sad that I have... Uh, Scavenger is my first vault. I'm just absorbed, man. I don't want to look for drowned and shit. I want to loot chests. Is that an experience altar? How much XP do you need? I'll do an altar. 12 levels. I have that many. Oh, living wood chests. Starting up on Tenos a little bit early? You know what? Hey, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I'm terrified for this guy to... Like, there's no way that he does the damage of a diamond sword. Like, that's just not... No, it's not real. Jesus Christ, though. The way you get overrun by mobs is kind of nasty. I'm just chugging down heels. I don't care, man. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, I mean, listen, hey, if y'all just do me a favor and scoot over a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Why is it moving? Why am I in a cow vault? This is, uh, this is the vaulting experience, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the vaulting experience. Um. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. I guess. Or any chests in the water, question mark? Well, yeah, I mean, they're there. I'm just trying to, um, you know, sort through this whole thing before I go down to the water and get bombarded by seven of the million of these guys. Just trying to clear out a little horde before I drop down in there and loot there. Because what a... Drown hide? Drown hide are in there. Okay. How much time do I have? I only have 16 minutes! Where'd the time go? I want that carbon, though. I want to grab that. That's mine. Thank you. Where the time go, dude? Oh. Vault melt? Sure, dude. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that. I'm gone. Let me alone. I'm out. See ya. I know I didn't loot the altar. I'm wrapping around. Chat is fine. Relax. I'm doing my first vault. Everything's okay. I was wrapping around. I was doing a loop. I'll play it and give me the melt. Memory powder. I know what memory powder is, clearly. Ball plating for the stick. Blank seal for the essence. We're good. We're packing. We're out. Chat, kick it back. Everything's all right. It's not my first rodeo. Came from that way. Going south. See which way this place offers me. It's like looting underwater is more peaceful. I mean, true to some degree, until you get, like, just cornered in from every direction, and then you just die. Because you have nowhere to go. So, yeah. Could be peaceful. Maybe not. No idea, to be honest with you. Is that life points? Oh, boy. Vault essence is good. Uh, ah! Okay, so I definitely don't deal uh, diamond sword damage. Good to note. I don't know what I dropped. I dropped the essence. Give me that. 
Rob Magnusite, thank you. Oh, back up. Good, thank you. Stop lagging. How many? Oh, three hearts. That's it. That's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Yeah, we're good. We're good. There we go. See? Chuck a little healing down. A little healing job after the hearts. We're not making the most use out of our healing pots, but yeah, it's okay. Okay. First one of those. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very sick. Very, very cool. All right. What else do we forget from here? Okay. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. We're good. Not bad, I got a rune, pretty cool. I, I wasn't sure if rooms actually existed or not because there was that one rune in the JEI and I wasn't sure if, um... Fuck, my inventory is extremely full, hold on. We don't have a lot of time in here to be honest with you. Yeah, we do not have a lot of time inside of this vault. Damn. Um, this hanging bit here. Yep. Ooh, hey, relax. Is that so? Okay, you saucy thing. Trap chests. Alright. No poison for me, though. Yeah, out of range. Deal with it. Hey, bud. Ouch. The chests are giving okay loot, but part of me just wants to go for the altars. <laughs> altars are kind of sick. That's good. A lot of netherite scrap. I forgot how common netherite scrap. Well, I mean, I can't say I really forgot. I never knew exactly. Um, did I mark off the way that I came? Yeah, I did. Cool. Different room in front of me here, it would seem. No way! What? There's no shot! They said these were rare! You're kidding me, man! Oh, welcome back, Vault Hunters. I've missed you dearly. It had to be X mark though. Surely for level zero, the X mark odds are not. I feel like I'm gonna go down here and die instantly. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, open up. Open up. Let me open the door! <laughs> Bro, I got a decoy Omega room. I got decoyed. Let me out, man! I'm about to disconnect and wait until they force it. <laughs> Can I actually... Wait, hold on. I want to disconnect. <laughs> No, dude, I'm out. I'm I'm disconnecting. I'm I'm messaging someone. I want them to open the room. <laughs> Does timer pause? Yeah, timer should pause unless that mechanic changed from last season. It does pause. Oh, Wutax is on. Hi, Wutax. <laughs> Wutax probably pissed. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy. Nine hours and he does this. Oh, good one. Command blocks are probably disabled. <laughs> God. 
Okay. <laughs> You know what the funny thing is, though, is that that's actually one of the better X Mark rooms that I've had in my time playing Ball Hunters. How do you know it's better? Because an X mark that doesn't do anything is by default better than most X mark rooms. Oh, did I have a pizza lucky emote? I do, I have a pizza lucky emote. What are you talking about? Okay, so here's here's the way tonight's gonna end. <laughs> All right, ready for this? Um, both Wutax and Reed are online right now. Bless their hearts. I appreciate them for helping me out with this. Uh, they don't have panel access at the moment, so they can't enable command blocks currently. I so I pitched the idea of, um, I, I pitched the idea of waiting, <laughs> ending my stream now, and waiting until tomorrow's stream <laughs> when command blocks are enabled. To then log back onto the vault and finish later. And I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> but the raffle? <sighs> a quick relog to make sure it's actually paused. Okay, hold on there. Okay, let me make sure it's, the timer's actually paused. Hotel says don't think we ever. Okay, let me make sure that the. Let me alpha test really fast here that I'm not at two minutes left on my timer. Can't they just manually execute the command? Was my timer seven minutes before? Wait. Wait. I'm going to be leaving this vault. I will be requesting one Omega Room XMAR tickets uh, as compensation for today's ventures. It's been a, it's been a good time. <laughs> as a reminder, there is a reason why the public release did not go out the day of the SMP release. This is that reason why. Let's do a um, little roundups and uh, hop back to where we were in the new call to that one. Building with compressed. Shut the fuck up. I'm I'm gonna need you to stop talking right now. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Is there any way that like I could get teleported back to the specific vault instance? Or like these coordinates when the command blocks can be ran just so I can loot that one room and then leave. <laughs> okay, understandable. Oh yeah, it's that multi-threaded stuff now, huh? Yeah, that's the nice stuff now.
Oh, okay. damn. Not even like to loot it. I just wanted to see what it would have been. Oh. Um, they're telling me that the different way that vaults are configured now, each vault is its own dimension, basically. So when you leave a vault, the vault gets entirely deleted. Pretty much. All right. Uh, well, that was um a rather interesting first vault. Uh, can't lie to you. I don't think I'd have it any other way, realistically. How much is that poison for? Wait, how long is that poison lost for? Jesus Christ, that knocked it down a lot. I got four minutes left in my vault. I might as well explore just like a little bit longer, you know what I mean? Might as well take a little gander at some stuff, you know? Shaman table. Holy shit. I gee oh 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 I saw something. I saw someone that I think I'd like to get my hands on if you know what I'm saying. Is that present on the ceiling? You've been playing too much Animal Crossing. I'm gonna need you to come back to reality. Oh. Oh! It's, uh, it's fine. Regret nugget? Regret chunk? Ah! Alma down there, buds. What the hell's a regret nugget, man? Why am I regretting things now? I want the vault gold. Yeah, I know the coins. I know I, I don't have room for anything, man. The mobs won't stop spawning. And things won't stop dropping. I can't help it. They literally do not stop coming, and they don't 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 stop coming. I know too many- chat! 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 Frick. Give- give coin. It drops on the ground, man! Oh. Just give me what's on the chest. I mean, the, the regret nugs. I'm out of this bitch. I'm calling him stupid that isn't backstating. Holy fucking based. <laughs> Ow, Jesus Christ. This guy's back punch, dude. Hey, tough guy! Hey! Hey, hey what's, what do you want to do? Whoa! Hey. hey! Back it up there. Back it up there, pal. Oh, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? How'd I do? <laughs> 714 vault experience, 93 mobs on alive, 2100 damage dealt, 20, 46 damage received, coin piles collected one, <laughs> just opened 24, sick. No modifiers, uh, two epic wooden, five rare, one omega, nine common, two trap. This is a really cool overview of everything. This is actually really sick. No ornate, no, two altars, uh, no treasures, one gilded, common gilded, understandable. Mobs and alive, damage taken, damage dealt, very cool. 24 vault dwellers. And then we were not in a party, I'm assuming that's what that would be for. Interesting. Claim rewards. Neat. Very cool. Well, that was sick. That was fun. Um, definitely went through my healing pots pretty fast there before realizing that just building up helps significantly. Alright, that was uh Yeah, that was that was something. I'll be thinking about that X mark room.
when I go to bed at night. Right? Oh, God. Hey, man. I love you. This many dollars worth. They forgot that Mr. Streamer has insane luck in Vault Hunters, especially early game, and didn't think they'd need Omega Rooms to work right away. You think they learn by now, right? <laughs> uh, we got a blank seal out of that, though, which is kind of cool. So what do we need to... How do we... What do we do here? So I got Seal of Challenger. That's a speedrun seal. Three diamonds, one wounded eye gem, and a blank seal. Uh, we got two vault diamonds, one netherite sword, and one perfect wounded eye. So that's quite a bit of ways. Hunter's Eye, Vault Diamond for that, and then the Cake and Perfect Wooded Eye, Vault Diamond. So the cheapest one to make being the Seal of the Challenger with the Diamonds and Wooded Eye Gems. Um, so that whole deal is going on. You can make a burger and maybe level up. I mean, I could. Brags, I have... I've got a burger bun. I've got a burger patty. I can just make a hamburger. But, like, also... Instead of making a hamburger, what if I made... A spicy hearty burger. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or like maybe a cheeseburger feast. Or like a salty deluxe cheeseburger. <laughs> a salty deluxe four cheeseburger. Or a crispy deluxe 20 cheeseburger. You know, you know what I'm saying? Gotta go up the tier, you know what I mean? Maybe I'm looking for a little bit of cheddar on my burger. You never know. Alright. Hey, listen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to wrap up with today. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to end it off with the uh, the raffle and the gladiator arena stuff, which is, a, you know, again, whole brand new thing that they've done on here. Let me, before, just before I do that, though, where is the, can I get some wood real fast here? I'd like to make a chest specifically just for uh, vault stuff. And I'm going to pop that. Right there. So, Wild Focus can be used to modify Vault Gear, reforge all Freezing and Subtics. Very cool. Memory Powder. Uh, we got a Vault Rune for one Crystal Cave and 12 Common Rooms. Some balancing thing with that. It's interesting. Uh, we got a Burger Patty for leveling with a Burger Bun. Understandable. Vault Meat. Oh, it's meat. I thought it was Melt. Raw Vault Steak? Vault meat block. Cooked vault steak. For 12 saturation. Oh. I say hefty boy. You better believe I wasn't connected. To So if you want to redeem your rifle tickets, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh... Yeah, anyway, so if you're new here, get used to it. Um, knowledge Essence, Vault Meat, put that at the end of the food. Regret Nugget. Regret Chunk, Orb of Regret, and this doesn't do anything. I don't know what I'm regretting. Uh, apparently, I'm regretting uh, finding the X-Mark room. Carbon Nugget is used to make carbon, and then that's used to make a chromatic steel ingot, which is then used to make a bunch of stuff. Holy shit. Okay, so carbon is going to be a very important thing to gather a lot of. I uh, regret Nugget. Okay, I uh, got a cow stripe it. Pretty pog. Nice. Uh, four Vault Essence is also pretty sick. Is there anything I can make with this immediately? I'm assuming probably not. Red Botany Plot. Interesting. Okay. There's a lot of stuff, actually. Um, we can look at that in no time, to be honest with you. We'll, we'll go through a lot of things like that. We got vault plating as well. Very cool. Very neat. And then the blank seal is a pretty big deal. 
Um, we might be able to, depending on if we're able to get, what was it? Uh, Wounded Eye Gems. We might be able to get a couple speedruns done by the end of the week. That'd be pretty cool to, you know. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool to, you know, be able to do some speedrun stuff within the first week. Because that's obviously, you know, at the end of every week you get the speedrun strats or whatever, right? So that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. All right. Fair, uh, fair enough. Okay. Well, I'll chat on a bit on here. I'd like to say again, thank you for everybody watching the first day of Vault Hunters. I will be probably going to bed immediately and then waking up and streaming immediately. Well, not like immediately, but I'll be live tomorrow for a considerable amount of time, as always, and probably uh, for the foreseeable future while the series is on. So thank you again. Uh, for everybody who submitted a raffle ticket, except the 20 or so of you that did it when I wasn't connected, blame the X-Mark room, but don't blame devs. Blame me. Spin the raffle wheel. That's a lot of people. Scythe Master! Pog! Well done! Out of everybody who redeemed and chucked the raffle ticket in today, you managed to take it home. Nice. So, uh, they're not here? I mean, yeah, it was like nine hours ago. <laughs> um... So Scythe Master is now moved into the Gladiator Arena through a Raffle Gladiator. We got 92 Gladiators. And Chad, if you guys have not seen how this works, do we have any available arenas? We don't. We're nearly there. But we'll wait until tomorrow. Um, yeah, that stop was very... Uh, it was, anyway. Are you guys ready for this? Because I don't know if I am. Gladiator Arenas are interesting. You are sent into an arena to fight off all of the other gladiators. Thank you, Kevin, who's actually the five gifted. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Appreciate the work you've done today. Thank you so much. Oh. Today's going to be a very interesting gladiator arena. We're going to be gladiating in space. It's a very unique feature. Day one deals only, and I'm really happy that I get to participate in it. Um, anyway, so yeah, you, uh, you get to draft gear. You have five options, and you equip the gear, and you fight off people. Now, here's the thing. You're not guaranteed any specific type of gear, which means that I have two weapons in front of me right now, if I choose the boots, for example, the next four rolls might not give me a weapon. So you kind of got to pick and choose, and it's it's a really cool system. And by the way, all of the gear in here roll at the max level. So it's a way of being able to preview what future gear could entail. So I got vault boots, 11 armor, 10% crit hit resistance, 2 health, cooldown, thorn chance, soulbound, thorns damage. Okay. Vault Sword, common, 29 attack damage. So, 39 attack damage. 17 Spiteful, 24% Fatal Strike chance. We're going to Vault Axe, 1 Chaining attack. Chaining is kind of nice, actually. 53.5 attack damage. 87% Soul chance. Vault Shield, rare. 20% block chance for parry. 6% res, 42% thorns damage. And Vault Idol, which is... I I think I'm going to pass up on the commons, and I think I'm going to go with the vault boots. The axe isn't bad with the chaining attack, but I, I do want to see if I can roll a higher weapon. I'm going to be honest with you. I think, I think I'm going to roll the vault boots. The boots are sick. I'm going with the boots. Oh, 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 damn. 50 attack damage. Higher attack speed, 74% sweeping hit chance, 15 baneful, 32% fail strike chance on a sword. Helmet, common, 11 armor, okay. Vault leggings, 19 armor, common, understandable. Cooldown idle, common, 15 armor, 14 res, 15 cooldown, 20% knockback res. I'm 
I I think with the fatal strike a uh, sweeping hit chance. I think we take the sword. I think the sword is pretty good on that one. Nice, okay. That was got fail strike and fail strike chance, but we got higher damage. Uh we're not looking for an idle trap disarm chance. Common five armor, helmet, okay, boots, and then shield. Oh my god, okay. Um 14% creative resistance, 19% thorns damage, 7% item quantity, 40% mana. We get some immunity, trap disarm. We already have good boots. Vault shield, 19% block chance. Thorns damage. Hmm. I feel like the 19% block chance on the shield might be pretty okay. It's kind of all shit. I'm going to go with shield. Okay. Ooh. Four armor. Common. Eight mana, six res, 11 crit. Uh, okay. 13 armor, rare leggings. Oh. God, my boots, man. These are pretty decent. Six health, that ain't bad. That's not bad at all. What we got here, yeah. I think we've already got good boots. It's fine. It's fine. 13 armor leggings. I think we got to pick the leggings. Good crit re hit res. That's pretty much it. We got to pick the leggings. Final gear. Oh. 9% block chance. 11 armor on the epic chest. Dura, quantity, regen. Okay. Oh, 20 armor, 7 health, 16 armor with 9 health, oh my god, oh my god almighty, I mean you gotta take the chest plate obviously because we already got leggings, but just looking at the the legs here, that's insanity to me. Or the epic in comparison is the fact that it's got more slots, but slow avoidness, health, mana, crit res. Okay, I mean, we take the ch not the legs. We can't be bare chested. We take the chest plate because we already got boots, legs, we'll have a chest, we'll have a weapon, and we'll have a shield. That's a pretty good combo, honestly. That ain't bad. Let's equip. We got our sword, we got two cook, vault stake, and a shield. This is kind of terrifying to be honest with the void, but I'm ready. Get me on that, uh, vault stick. It seems as though saturation bug does persist in the gladiator arena. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> anyway. That'll go ahead and do it for the end of today's, uh, the first episode of Vault Hunters. Thank you all for watching. It's been great. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, <laughs> is this supposed to be where Scythe Master goes now? Or is there some sort of input that I need to do for this? It's in your inventory. It's definitely not in my inventory. So I think... Okay, so you know the issue too? Okay, so you need to take it. So, not only did Scythe Master somehow manage to win the raffle, Scythe Master also was the one who killed me in the Gladiator Arena. Scythe Master just came in... On a... a, a <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Scythe Master just came in... Free to play Andy over here, dropped down 6k channel points and said, I don't care if you've gifted 200 subs today. I'm entering into the Gladiator Arena and dropping myself into the SMP. Honestly, Godspeed to you. I'm never getting donated to probably ever again. But anyway. Um, that's the basis of the Gladiator Arena. I'm going to go off an assumption that it'll probably be tweaked a little bit 
But I'd say for the most part, it's probably a skill issue. Either way, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all a ton. Hope you enjoy the rest of the Vault Hunters. I'll be streaming this basically every single day. And uh, we'll be hopping back on to do probably a lot more vaults tomorrow. We'll need to get some health potions and stuff prepared up for there. Because food seems to be taken well care of. But yeah, anyways, um, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all right later.